Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure. We're in the beautiful Lake District again today. And um, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. The plan is uh, to do some fly fishing, to do some wild camping, to explore this beautiful land and um, enjoy the time, the solitude in this remote uh, wilderness. We shouldn't be too far off from small water. Done quite good progress up the, up the hill here. That's uh, hose water behind me. And uh, that way, southwest, should be small water fairly soon. Awesome fish are jumping. I can't wait to start fishing. Let's do this. Come on. I want to go in the water. I want to fish. I want to do everything at once. I'm super excited. This is awesome. I've been paying attention to all the insects that all the insects that I've seen on the way up, and the color pattern seems to be a little bit orangey, a little bit uh, brown, you know. So last time I was here, I had success with the black flies, and um, but I think I'm gonna change it up today given what I've seen and try the uh, the light brownish colors. I can't wait to fish. <laughs> I'm too impatient. I, you see this is because I'm trying to rush it and I'm gonna take longer like that. Ay, 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 ay. I just wanna pull it. But you know what happens when you pull guys. Take it.
Fish on, baby. Fish on. Yes. Yes. This is a beautiful round trout. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. Ah, stay, 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 stay. Oh, stay on, buddy. No, 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 no. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Wow. Wow, oh, guys, look at this fish. Absolute beauty. Absolute beauty, look at the spots, the red the spots, absolute beauty. Let's get him to the water now. Yes, gone. Jacket time. Yeah, been fishing for about uh, almost two hours and had that one beautiful fish. I'm gonna move spots and see if I can find uh, a more sheltered spot from the wind. So maybe we can get, uh, we can improve the quality of the delivery of the fly, make it a little bit more smooth. We're going to explore this tarn and the potential camping spots for uh, tonight to sleep. The spot I was in actually is really good. It's a very good spot over there. If we don't find anything better, then we'll come back to that. Right in this pocket here, I just saw fish rise. So maybe we'll have a few casts and then we'll keep moving. All right, guys, so uh, this looks like a pretty nice spot, sheltered from the wind. Let's uh, set up the camp real quick today. Perfect. I'm exhausted guys. <laughs> Just relax for a bit, have some noodles, classic. Bon appetit. So many fish rising now. So still. Absolutely still guys. Maybe we can uh, try some more fishing. They're going for the for the black fly with the uh, brown pattern. They're not really into that one, so
Tree Keeper catch today. I've been uh, fishing for quite a while and I only had that one fish. There's plenty of fish rising everywhere but I think my casting is sucks today. I haven't been uh, fly fishing in a while and my casting is all over the place. The presentation of the fly is like a C minus. It's a miracle that I caught that fish to be honest. So I take it. I gotta get my uh, technique. Yes, that's right. Sheesh, look at this place, guys. Pretty much all to ourselves. Gorgeous. There's camp. All right, here goes nothing. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying my favorite lure with a, a fly fishing rod. See if I can even cast it out there, but yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, yeah, that really doesn't work at all. Yeah, it's going nowhere with a shot. Here I am guys, eating my uh, vegan tofu sausages. Pretty good. Pretty good, actually. I think I'm gonna have an early night, guys. Um, fishing was, was okay. We got a fish, which was good. Let's see what tomorrow brings. So have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. morning guys had a very good night's sleep actually um, slept solidly till about 5 30 in the morning and then kept snoozing until now it's about 9 a.m now so i had a line today it's uh, raining outside so no rush to get out really gonna have a little bit of breakfast here under the tent and then we'll pack uh, camp uh, quite quickly and get on our way and see what the day brings. Let's do it. guys oh yeah. oh yeah sorry Matthew Posa I love you man but you've got that in my brain now oh yeah what a legend Matthew this one's for you for anyone that doesn't know Matthew Posa is this awesome Canadian guy and he does the most awesome uh, wilderness trips with his canoe and his uh, dog Monty Check him out if you like this kind of stuff. I certainly enjoy his videos. For breakfast today we have almond butter bagel with squashed avocado. Not avocado? What are you talking about mate? 
squash dates. What is wrong with me? I did bring on an avocado at least, you know. It's not like it just came out of nowhere, but, you know. Raining outside. Oh, we're just chilling here, taking our time. Breakfast. Easy. Protein. Carbs. Omega oils. From the seeds. Mmm. I mean, dip it into your coffee. Oh man, mushy, mushy like that. Mmm, that's good stuff. This is the same tent that I had, that I used in my last trip. I said I wouldn't be using this tent ever again because I couldn't trust it. But because my pole broke, one of the cross poles snapped when I was uh, undoing it. But I managed to fix it with a piece of. Um, metal rubbish that i found in my previous trip i love this tent you know uh it's been with me in all my adventures hasn't let me down it's got great ventilation it has a really high proportion of mesh cheaper brands they tend to use like um quite solid fabric up till quite high up on the on the walls and that reduces ventilation and increases condensation as a consequence this one was only 60 pounds so I'm not going to change it. There's no need. I think it's quite easy to get into this trap um, in the world with all the marketing messages that come at us 24 hours a day that we always need the next thing, the next, the best tent, the best thing, the best, you know. So it's just a way of controlling that and uh, calming down a bit. There will come a point where I'll have to um, upgrade it or keep using it for now. Uh-oh. It's that time of day guys is that time to do number two in the rain not looking forward to that so the rules for doing a number two in the mountains and in the wilderness minimum of 30 meters away from any water source you bury it you take away the paper waste with you don't use any toilet or any baby wipes anything with chemicals anything that doesn't biodegrade uh, paper does biodegrade but it takes surprisingly much longer than people think i have a rubbish bag here so i take uh, the paper with me and uh, make an effort to leave the environment as pristine as possible and that is poop etiquette by outdoor adventures stay tuned for more poop updates on poopchannel.com also just got a weather update right now i don't know if you can see wednesday at 11 a.m it's saying 70 percent chance of rain but if we scroll down at 1 p.m it says zero percent either garmin is the most optimistic company in the world here in the lake district zero percent mm -hmm, i doubt it look 3 p.m zero percent 5 p.m zero percent 7 p.m zero percent either this cloud system is passing and there's nothing following it or they're just super optimistic, but you know, it looks good either way. southwest up over this way and we're gonna follow the ridge that becomes high street we'll see if we if we uh choose to go for blue water which is just behind me over here over that ridge there's another tarn which um i wanted to fish last time i was here and i didn't get a chance to or into the forest depending on how the weather's doing we'll make the call once we're up on high street so 
onwards and upwards. shelter here. Uh, at least get out of the wind. You can see I'm not wearing my waterproofs because I'm an idiot. And, and on a, as a side note, I'm also an idiot. I didn't use my waterproofs because I was going to get too hot coming up the hill and I was either going to get wet from the inside by sweating or I was going to get wet from the rain and avoid uh, as much sweating and therefore less uh, loss of water you know, in the body. I'm gonna have a quick little biscuit to get some energy. Weather is absolutely wonderful. Lake District Classic. It's approaching uh, close to one o'clock and the Garmin said 0% and it's still raining, so nice one Garmin. And uh, yeah, we're heading straight into that fog, beautiful fog over there. Uh, I think visibility is about 30 meters right now, maybe less. I better get moving because I'm getting cold. Gotta keep that momentum going to generate heat. Heading this way. Woohoo! Wonderful adverse weather. Come on, weather, kick my ass. I dare you. Dangerous words. talking about look at that that's a nice fall and that way let's continue Mardale Bell, that little rock signifies that I made it. The rain wants to slow down I feel and there's a, the brightness is increasing there in the west and the wind is coming southwest so the wind's coming from there. So hopefully, hopefully Garmin, 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 visibility is like 15 meters now. Anyway, I'm gonna continue on to High Street where it gets nice and flat over the hill. Maybe we'll get a, hopefully we'll get a view this way where blue water is. Right now we can't see Jack making good progress actually. And uh, hopefully it will clear and we'll evaluate our options once again in uh, maybe a couple hours. Dexterity in my hands. Dex dexterity? Perspect? What's the word? Dexterity, right? Who knows? Oh, I can't. My hands are like completely spastic from the cold. It's a little bit cold now, so oh, get off me. Get off me. I'm tangled. Um, yeah, so we're still at the top of a high street. We're about 800 meters up in the air winds come down uh, luckily it hasn't really cleared but it stopped raining which is good my pants quick drying pants are drying quite quickly so it may work my feet are completely drenched that's just standard operations for me here in this uh, part of the lakes 
Um, I'm getting a little bit cold now, so I'm gonna uh, re-strategize on the clothing, probably take this off, put the police on, maybe put the uh, windbreaker on. I already have my hummus uh, bagel uh, prepared with avocado. I prepared it before I left camp this morning, so have a quick lunch, have a bit of mm. water, refill the body and carry on north down either the forest where we can check it out to see if we can camp there or blue water. Oh man, a little bit of sun would be so appreciated right now just to warm up a bit just 10 minutes of sun good move to prepare it um before leaving camp preparing a bagel right now in the cold would suck The water should be somewhere down there. I can't even see the water because it's so uh, it's so foggy. It's way too steep to go down directly. So we're going to go down this way, which is actually still quite steep. It's all about being careful. Every step counts. You know, one one bad step and you could break a leg or twist an ankle. So you really have to take your time here. So I've got about three kilometers of this until I make it down and at this pace I imagine it will be a couple hours until I make it all the way down so there's blue water guys we can finally see it the clouds have lifted a little bit and it's uh, revealing blue water over there so that's one of the options for camping tonight I'm not really sure what to do whether we should go to the to the forest or um, whether we should camp here the thing is, if we go to the forest, there's only one real pitching spot. And if that's taken, you know, if somebody's there, then that kind of messes up the plant. Also in the trees and with all those bushes, I think they're going to be a lot of bugs. And here you have more access to, to fresh water. So that's also a plus, but that's sheltered. Um, although the wind is supposed to really die down today. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I think we'll go check it out, guys. The way to the forest uh, is actually this way, but there's another way that we can also go down uh, from there. It's slightly longer, but it will be kind of the same because of the steepness. When you're walking across like boggy areas like this, really, really take your time, be careful. The multiple holes, look how deep that goes, you know? Another one in there, you see? And with the grass covering it, you can very quickly step inside and uh, twist an ankle. I checked out uh, blue water and I think it's a no-go. I couldn't really find any uh, nice camping spots. We're gonna pass, we're gonna make our way down, see what else happens. Let's just roll the dice and see.
feels good to get the weight off your back a bit. So I've come to this uh, little pool here, irresistible pool. Uh, it's not exactly hot by any means, but it's uh, there's enough time in the day that if I go in the water now, I'll dry off and uh, warm up. So I think this is my chance to uh, do a little bit of cold water therapy today. So I'm gonna take it. We're going swimming in this uh, little pool. Let's do it, no messing around. It's a cold one. Oh, oh yeah, that's cold. That's... <laughs> oh man. Okay, I think that's it. Time to go. Okay. Uh, that's my trusty pal. That's all you need, really. You don't need more than that. I'm glad I went in there, guys. A beautiful spot, huh? The good thing is that I'm going into uh, super dry socks. Yeah, you might as well wash them, I guess. I mean, they're completely wet, so. Lovely, lovely, just lovely. Hey, it's lovely, bambino. Just put your foot in the water. And today's water temperature is sponsored by Outdoor Adventures. All right, there it is. Dang, the waterfall is amazing. What beautiful geography, geology, whatever you want to call it, nature. God, absolutely beautiful. Look at this. The water just coming down. Needless to say, I can't go down there, so I'm gonna find another safer way down. So we successfully made it down the valley and the waterfall was amazing, so beautiful. I'm gonna start doing that more often, walking down the waterways, it's uh, much more interesting. We're gonna find some shelter in the forest because as you can see, Mr. Garmin was absolutely wrong. Zero percent my ass, Garmin. Zero percent. <laughs> Zero percent in the Lake District, are you stupid? I mean, how can you even say that? And at this point, I don't trust Garmin Jack. Even that it looks like it's gonna continue raining, we might as well try and get a good camp spot in the forest. I think we got a couple K, not too bad. And it's pretty flat ground, which is nice. Appreciate it after uh, steep inclines and declines. Let's go all the way whoop, around.
yes we made it and it's absolutely gorgeous in here it's the right call to come here today unfortunately people use this campsite with fires and stuff um, but you know what that's an opportunity for us to clean up a bit looks like some animals been trying to chew it up as well look at these trees I think this is what they call widow makers guys this is a very dangerous tree it's already rotting here it's pretty much very likely dead you can see it's already trying to kind of falling it's being held by another tree up there but this tree is dangerous so won't be camping under there that's for sure maybe this spot is better Yup, the midges found me. Oh, the midges, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A trusty fix. Piece of metal. There we go. Good as new. Shit. Oh, the bugs, the bugs, the bugs. You got the bugs. No. Ah. Freaking bugs are eating me alive. Oh. Oh, 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 the bugs, the bugs, the bugs. Oh, what's this shenanigans now going on here? Oh, bug season. I'm going to get all the water I need now, fill all the containers that I have. Because uh, I got to go down there. It's about. A good 300 meters down and uh, about 100 in elevation so that's gonna be a pain too and i'm all wet so i need to get all my wet clothes off so i'm gonna get the water and that's it i'll be in the tent uh you know dry i won't have to come out to get more water so i'm gonna go do that now Oh man, this hill is so steep. Oh, completely out of breath. Now, we have to be quick, otherwise the bugs will eat us alive, man. And I don't want to spill this water, man. Oh man, I'm inside. Quite a few midges already made it inside. I'm kind of killing them off. And uh, the whole tent is freaking wet. Everything is so wet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to dry stuff out somehow. Uh, otherwise it's gonna be such a humid and moist wet night. I was worried that somebody would take my spot. Yeah, sure. Who the hell wants this spot? With the, with the bugs. Anyway, we'll make the best of it. We'll be all right. Everything's so wet. Maybe I should have waited to pitch the tent. Live, you learn. <laughs> All the floor of the tent is really wet, basically completely wet. So I don't want the sleeping bag uh, absorbing the moisture of the floor. So I've got it nice and uh, fluffy, kind of packed onto itself there because the bugs are just horrendous. So I'm um, gonna do a little bit of cooking. Replenish some calories, have some nice noodles. Noodle time. They want to come in, but they won't. I won't let them. Be stealthy when cooking and the midges are out. Open the zip a bit to slide my hand in there. Tweet. Bring the hand out. Close. Zip it quick. I got these uh, tofu sausages. They're very tasty, so I'm going to cut them up into small pieces and um, mix it in with the noodles when they're done. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. 
This is how I'm cooking, guys. Open a little bit here. See, put my hand through it. Close and cook outside. Look through the mesh. <laughs> Here's my avocado that I have left. I'll put a bit of salt on it. I eat straight out of the avocado. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, one little tip with the noodles. I like my noodles firm. I don't like them going soggy. So when they hit that perfect point, I drain the water to stop the cooking. And they taste much better when they're a little bit firmer. It's nice in here now. A little bit of wind would help things to dry and reduce condensation, but at least it's quite a warm night. I think the low is going to be like 11 or something, 11 degrees Celsius, which is super warm. Welcome to my uh, homemade cinema, guys. Pretty sick. Here in my sleeping bag, I got the tripod connected to the Garmin. Good for something, huh? I got the Garmin on a carabiner connected to the little peg here at the top of the tent. That's wedged in place. Throw this in our pan. Next, of course, we've got the white onion. So that's Matthew Posa. He's awesome. I'll leave a link below to his channel. I'm going to relax here for a bit, watch a bit of uh, this video that I downloaded before coming here. There's no signal here, of course. And I will see you guys tomorrow uh, for the way out. Thank you for watching and good night, guys. the bugs already oh son of a bitch morning guys <coughs> nothing like bugs for breakfast it's about 5 15 in the morning now let's get going guys let's do it The bugs, they got me guys, they got me good, they got me good. I've got to get out of here quick. They're in my ears, they're everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Get off me. Get off me, bugs. Go off. Oh, get off. <laughs> oh my God, they're all over me. They're all over me completely. <laughs> Biting my neck, in my eyes, in my ears. Oh, no shoelaces now, it's torture. Oh man, I'm never camping in this forest again. Oh, they killed me. They killed me, they killed me. Game over, guys. Oh, oh, get off. Ah. That was horrendous, that was horrendous. Oh. Bye, guys. Oh, thank God, those midges are gone now here. That was so intense. There were thousands of them all over the face and neck, ears, nose. I swallowed quite a few, inhaled a few. That was nasty. That was still cool. <laughs> Part of the experience. You live, you learn. So now we got to head all the way down this way around. And the car park is somewhere around. We're gonna get to a little bridge there 
have a chance to load up on some more water for the trip because I have no water left in the car. I'll see you guys at the bridge. So this here is a uh, hose water. Actually, you can see the level of the water is very low at the moment. Guys, so got my coffee brewing here. Already have my uh, trusty almond butter and uh, date bagel. So, mm. got some energy. So, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the adventure, and I see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.